A special thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Despite the snow on the ground, we are headed to Pottery Barn to get some much needed spring inspiration. And then we are headed over to the thrift store to see what we can come up with for a whole lot less. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I noticed upon entering Pottery Barn this time around was the amount of blue elements they had going around the entire store. I specifically love these large scale blue vases. But one thing I wanna point out is it's not this vibrant blue, it's more of these subdued blue tones, which I knew would be the challenge at the thrift store. But then on a fresh cart came this beautiful subdued blue ceramic vase that was large in scale and I thought that would be perfect. But one thing I like to do whenever I go to Pottery Barn is I like to pay attention to the florals they're using and the combination that they're using with the vase to the florals. So I knew I found this blue ceramic vase and then I paid attention to the florals they were using. So it was like some sort of foliage with these sort of seedling like flowers. So I just went in my stash and I pulled what I thought looked similar and there you have it. I spent $3 for this arrangement and I think it looks great on my kitchen island. One of my weaknesses in home decor are wooden bowls, and I really liked that Pottery Barn was actually using them as almost like planters this time around for spring, which I thought was really interesting. But I also love just a classic wooden bowl, such as this one for $59. And again, the last time I was at the Heartfelt Thrift Shop on a fresh cart came this wooden bowl for $3. And I thought that that was a very fair price point. I loved the graining on this wooden bowl. And rather than just stack it by itself because it was a little bit small, I stacked it inside of another wooden wooden bowl that I had thrifted to add to this display on my kitchen island. As a busy mom of two toddlers, meal planning and prepping not only seems to be incredibly time consuming, but also very expensive, especially lately. But after recently trying HelloFresh, I don't think I will ever go back because not only did my kids love these meals, they were super easy to create with clear visual instructions, which if you guys know, I'm a visual learner, so that really helps me out. Everything comes perfectly packaged and portioned, so there's no confusion on what you need to do. I love that all of the ingredients are fresh, not frozen, and also, you can create a restaurant quality meal in under 20 minutes, which is really important for me, especially like I said, I have two small kids. So HelloFresh has really helped me to be efficient, but also create a healthier lifestyle that I've been trying to live since the new year. So we are off to a great start. You can even customize select meals by swapping proteins or sides, or even adding a protein to a veggie dish. To try HelloFresh, do yourself a huge favor and check out the link in the description box below, or go to HelloFresh.com and use my code FIA65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Okay, now let's get into some season specific spring and Easter decor. They had so many sweet options available for purchase and there's definitely a couple things I wanted to point out in this video. And because I will be hosting Easter at my house, I really wanted to pay attention to their table settings. So I looked at the tablecloths, the runners, how many runners and so forth. And I really loved these just simple striped runners, but they were almost $60 a piece and they were on sale at that price. And while I didn't happen to find three identical runners at the thrift store, store, I did find this fabric that looked really similar. And lucky enough, because there was so much of this fabric, I was able to create three runners from this one spool that was only $7.50. One thing I like to say is after you buzz it through the sewing machine, it does make a huge difference. If you can just steam it or press it with an iron, it just gives such a finished and polished look in the end. I'll show you a kind of before and after so you can really see the impact. This is something that whenever I'm in Pottery Barn, I always notice someone is steaming something, folding something, and it does make a huge difference in the overall look of your tablescape. With the runners done now, I wanted to work on the floral arrangements. So I noticed they had two glass vases with some kind of vibrant colored florals on either side, but I really liked their use of pink florals this time around. So my mother told me long ago that if you're ever having a kind of seasonal party at your house, the florals should really be real at the dining room table. They can be fake elsewhere, but at the dining room table, they should be real. So I went to my local grocery store and I picked up these pink 
pink tulips and I just filled them in these previously thrifted glass vases and I think they make just a really sweet moment um, for an Easter table setting. A few more previously thrifted pieces were these woven placemats for 25 cents as well as my dinnerware that I shared with you guys in an Our House Dupes video. Each plate setting was only $1.50 and I have eight total. I loved the beautiful etching on the perimeter of each plate as well as the organic shape of each bowl. Starting off by first placing the woven placemat down just like they did in their display as well as a plate and then a bowl. And I think this is a really good starting off point. I definitely still have more to add, but I think that this is starting to come together really well. Now for a quick little DIY project, I noticed that they had a lot of bunnies and Easter eggs and serveware with bunnies on it. And I think that in moderation, that can look really chic and just fun and festive for a family gathering. The first thing I did was I actually just filled the bottom with sand so it would be able to uphold the bowl on top of the previous candle holder. So I just grabbed some sand and then I duct taped the bottom shut with some hot glue. So that way the sand obviously wouldn't spill out. And then after I flipped it upside down, I just super glue gelled the bowl to the top where the candle used to be. Now, because it kind of tipped forward, I added a little bit of hot glue to the front leg so that way it would sit perfectly upright. Now with everything basically assembled, I just gave three coats of Magnolia Homes shiplap spray paint. And I think that this is a really sweet little decorative accent to add. Although I wouldn't be able to put any food in this bowl, I can definitely use it as another decorative accent with maybe some Easter eggs or something like that. By far one of my favorite things that Pottery Barn does is how they mix pattern. It feels chic, it feels cozy, it feels collected, but it's also really expensive if you buy it straight from Pottery Barn. So I always like to go to the thrift store and as you guys know, I'm not comfortable spending $59 on a pillow I might only keep out for a few months. So I do like to go to the thrift store. So when I came across this pillow for just $3, it looked so similar to this one from the Pottery Barn website for $59. I also found this brand new one originally from Target. Now this pillow was $5.99, which is generally more than I would like to spend on a thrifted pillow, but it fit in so well with my color scheme. So I think that this is the perfect pairing for the spring and summer months. Next up in the textiles are blankets. And more specifically, I really wanted to find a nice chunky knit blue blanket because Pottery Barn had them draped on the couch, at the end of the bed, folded up on a chair, but they are also quite expensive. So when I was at the thrift store, initially I wasn't finding really any just exclusively blue blanket, but then I came across this one and it's by the brand Threshold. And all of the blankets at this specific thrift store are $5. So the fact that I didn't have to pay that $30 price point even at Target for a similar look, I think is a major success. So just following a styling tip from them, I just kind of layered it underneath some decorative pillows on my couch. Probably my favorite find at Pottery Barn this last time around was this huge woven vase. It was so beautiful, but it was almost $150. And usually whenever I'm out thrifting, I never find woven vases that look like that exactly. They are usually the wrong color or they're really small or they're just not exactly what I'm looking for. But I had previously thrifted this lamp base, if you guys remember, and it did not come with a shade. So I've been trying to find a shade, still really haven't found one that I loved yet. So I decided, why don't we just turn this lamp base into a large scale woven vase? So I just obviously removed the lamp components and then I removed a little bit more of that woven material from the top. So then that way I would be able to fill it with some scrap florals I had in my basement. And I just did a mix of foliage and some hydrangeas for a nice spring take. And I think this is a really good way to make use of something that was otherwise collecting dust in my basement. Moving right along into coffee table books. So Pottery Barn had two variations I would say that stuck out to me. The first was just these very simple blue covered books. And then the other was your very typical kind of traveled, normal coffee table books that you would kind of find at a high-end home decor store. But you can also find coffee table books at the thrift store for so much more affordably. So for example, I found the Steve Jobs book. I loved the font on the book. I loved that it was neutral in color once I removed the sleeve and it made the perfect addition on top of a previously thrifted book as well. As someone who makes their bed every morning. One thing that drives me crazy is every time I go in these high-end home decor stores and I'm like, why doesn't my bed look like this? Their bed looks so luxurious. This looks so nice. And then it kind of hit me that I just don't have enough layers. So when I was at the thrift store, I came across the Studio McGee comforter set in a California king size. So I have a king size bed. So what I decided to do was actually just laid this bigger one down flat on my bed and I use my current linen bedding to kind of drape at the bottom. So that way, again, it's a 
another layer. And I just made my bed like I always do, but instead of two pillows, I have four now. And then I had these two large scale decorative pillows, this knit blanket and an additional pillow. And it's still not like exactly the way I want it to be, but I think it's definitely better with all of the layers added to it. One of my favorite things that Pottery Barn has carried are their baskets. They are such good quality, but they're also quite expensive. So I do like to go to the thrift store to see what they have available. And this Goodwill was really interesting. Let me know down in the comments if you've noticed this as well. But I've recently started to see a lot of Threshold by Studio McGee pieces, brand new with tags at Goodwill. So if you've seen that, leave me a comment down below. So basically I was able to grab both of these baskets for under 20 bucks, whereas if I had bought them from Target, they would have been just about $90 for both of them. So that already is such a great price point. So for the smaller one, I think I'm actually going to use it as a planter. But for now, the larger one, I love that Pottery Barn put these like runner rugs kind of rolled up in the basket. And while I don't have the ability to be that decorative, I need to be more purposeful. I did decide to put some white towels inside of here. And last but certainly not least is wall art. And I actually weirdly came enough this sweet little Pottery Barn heart frame just in time for Valentine's Day. So I decided to gift that to my husband. And then another piece that I thought was really great was this large scale wall art piece by the Studio McGee line at Target for under $12. So I don't know how much this piece cost initially, but it reminded me of something for sure I would have seen at Pottery Barn in the two to $300 price point. And that about wraps it up for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box or go to hellofresh.com and use my code FIA65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Let me know down in the comments which find was your favorite and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye for now.